Hi Pisces. Thank you for joining me today, checking out today's Zodiac reading for Pisces. Um, definitely check your Chiron sign. I seem to end up giving messages that are more meant for your Chiron sign than your Sun, Moon, or Rising, or Venus sign. But if it resonates, it is a general reading, so if it resonates with you, great. If not, definitely check out those other signs I mentioned. This reading is also timeless. So, with that being said, thank you again for checking this out, Pisces. I truly appreciate you. Uh, I always ask Source to please make it obvious what messages you need to receive. So, cards that drop down, I do not take unless they drop down facing up. Because, like, this deck is super slick, slippery, so cards constantly fall down and out like that. <laughs> so, I won't take that card. And I just ask Spirit, please make it obvious what messages you have for Pisces. Please make it obvious what messages you have for Pisces. And just like all the other zodiac signs I've done so far, they have me start with the deck, shuffle, 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 and nothing comes out. And then they have me move on to the next deck and shuffle, 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 and nothing comes out. And then go back to the first deck. So. <laughs> I don't know if every sign needs to practice a little patience or um, like with Aquarius, I, I was like, I kept hearing, pay attention, pay attention. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, well, they're not going to pay attention because all I'm doing right now is really just shuffling. But they said they need they want you to pay attention because they want you to see that they are selecting the cards, not me. That's why I always say, Spirit, please make it obvious. What messages do you have for Pisces today? And this card, the light dancer that felt, jumped out, came out in another reading too. Please make it obvious. I want to say the Scorpio reading that came out, and if I recall correctly. Thank you, Spirit. What messages do you have for Pisces today? do we have for Pisces today? Thank you, Spirit. Please make it obvious. What messages do you have for Pisces today? Okay, so this one down. This, these two up. Please make it obvious. What messages do you have for Pisces today? Thank you, Spirit. Please make it obvious. Yeah. 
ask just for some clarifiers. Now that one that dropped down, I thought it landed face up. That's what I saw it, but when I blinked my eye, it then was face down. So <laughs> I find that interesting. I'm going to go back and watch the video. Because I thought it landed up, but it landed down. One more time. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Please make it obvious what messages you have for Pisces today. So number 24, Light Dancer, Illumination, the Radiant Self, Shining Soul. And number 22, Insight, Magical Tools, Writing, and Star Crafting. And they want me to read this one. Number 22. From which mystery does insight arise? From what place do the words flow? And how can we connect so deeply that we write of the stars and their secrets? Perhaps we would do well to be like the wizard between the worlds who draws down the energies of all that is above and somehow weaves it into this world below, combining all that is celestial with all that is terrestrial. In those moments when we connect truly, deeply, we can literally become the link between the worlds, and through us can flow a pure and clean energy, a wise energy which can guide and comfort and enlighten, a compassionate energy that can see beyond differences and find communion with those with whom we share this remarkable world. It is time to connect deeply and find the quiet in between times so you, too, can take up the pen and write. Sit quietly and connect and feel the flow of energy that is the proof of your belonging, not only to this world, but to the worlds that lie beyond the sight of our hours, our, our, la, 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 our eyes. You are one who can share the knowledge. You can write of the stars. You can understand the power of the pen, of the words that flow, and of the magical tools you can gather about you. This is a time to grow stronger in your magical work, to learn how to use the scrying ball, to work by the soft enchantment that is candlelight, to turn your gaze towards the stars and draw down the wonder to reveal what others cannot see in your works. Be the wizard who creates the bridges between the worlds. Alchemize the seen and the unseen and let the wisdom pour through the pen and into the words that will flow out of you. The illumination message is, I am an instrument of the divine, which pours through me and into the world. So Pisces, I want you to say that, say that, repeat after me. I am an instrument of the divine, which pours through me and into the world. You are definitely being told that it's, to write. I'm hearing like write music, write songs, not just poetry or stories. Songs. 
Are you a songwriter, Pisces? Yeah, you have all the tools. All right, so Light Dancer, number 24. Each of us is designed to find within us the light we see outside of ourselves. And with our five senses, we cannot see all that is. We cannot take in all that is truly within this world, the universe. But through reaching for the light that lies within us all, you have sought to become a more loving person. You have searched for the oneness and lost the sense of division. For moments, there have been pure bliss. And when it has departed, you have been sad as though you have failed. As a human being, you cannot perceive all that is all the time. But in those moments when the bliss and peace of the truth of our connection, the acceptance of our transitory journey within and through our bodies, the alignment that values respect and love with earth, which we find union with others like ourselves, we find ourselves dancing with the light. Life has an ease and flow to it, and we feel we could reach out a hand and touch the stars. This moment has come to you even if you've forgotten its power. And it is here to remind you again of the beauty of the heart and soul, of the relationship you have to the infinite, which lies within you and without you. The light dancer tenderly touches what she can see in the hidden spaces of the universe and within your heart. When she comes to you, it is to remind you that you too are a light dancer, a being of the infinite universe, and you are as graceful, as aware, and as tender as she is. Okay, Pisces. Mm. My throat, like, <sighs> closed up at the end of that. Do you not feel that about yourself? <sighs> it's time you start speaking affirmations, self-affirmations. Because I, I really felt my throat close up there. And they're telling me, they're showing me that you... In those moments when you feel connected and you feel your soul shining, that's when you sh should be writing and journaling and m writing songs. That way, your words will continually remind you of when you are in that space, but also to help others get there too. Okay, Pisces, we have release, reverse, compassion, treasure, and sovereignty. I just, like what's interesting is every one of these cards He's reaching out his hand, right? He's, re he's reaching up his hand with his quill in his hand. He's reaching up with his hand. She's reaching up with her hand. He's reaching out with his hand. She's reaching out with her hand. Reaching out with a hand. And here, what's interesting here is here you can't see your hands. They don't look like they're in the pockets, but like you can't even see them from there. But all of their hands are up as well. This is a new deck and I do want to read, 
see if there is a yeah so the release card came out in reverse so the protection it's called a shadow message shadow meaning holding on too tightly control dominance and capturing and the symbol is the grackle bird You want me to read this story? Our awakened soul has nursed the common grackle bird that is in her hand back to health after finding it in the snow. The grackle is the messenger of releasing emotional hurt from the past. She's put many weeks of time and love into healing this little bird. Although she has grown attached to the bird, she knows it is time for the bird to return to the wild. She's taken her time to walk into the woods with the bird early in the morning and now holds her hand open for the bird to fly away when it is ready. The bird sings a song of gratitude and happiness knowing that it is now free and can see its flock. See again, song, like you're being divinely guided to start writing songs of gratitude and happiness. While there is a, now a hole where the bird used to be, she knows that this experience was a gift and the bird is back where he belongs, so she is also free to move forward. She's learned the power of letting things go when the time comes naturally. So, you're hold, holding on too tightly. Cold. Mm. I release what no longer serves me. So what what they're showing me Okay, they want me to read the awakened meaning of this. The release card calls for you to examine what you are holding on to. What do you, you fear of letting go and what is holding you back when you miss the organic opportunity to release what no longer serves you? You hold yourself back. Release these things. Release these people, relationships, habits, beliefs, or situations with love and forgiveness. This release needs to be done on a deep level, which can take some time and may take more than one attempt. Be kind to yourself during this transition. Understand that things change no matter how you feel about it or even if you feel ready. If you can allow it to be what it is, it does not have power over you. Then these releases allow for room for the new to come in, for better opportunities to come to you. Letting go can be a painful experience. Allow yourself the time and space to grieve if you need to. Once you've moved forward through the pain, you can then pay tribute to what has happened and hold the memories in a healthy way. So yeah, in reverse. So you need to let this song go. You need to release the bird so it could sing its songs, but that's your right like like I said there's everywhere there's hands so I feel like lessons you've learned trials that you've gone through put to words but the, I keep hearing songs because those will be healing messages and songs songs of compassion and you're like oh, treasure like this treasure card and sovereignty your music your songs songwriter will be such you want me to read this sovereignty card Like, um, they're putting me in the energy of your words, your songs. Like, I... The power, like... The sovereignty card has arrived as a sign from the divine within you to own your power and if you have been giving it away take it back you may have given your power away by allowing other people to make decisions for you 
seeking approval over being happy and not having clear boundaries. These goddesses are a reminder that no one but you has the right to say anything about your life and the choices that you do and don't make. They are yours and no one else's. Give yourself permission to be yourself. You are being reminded that through spiritual work and self-love, you can claim your power every day for yourself. Regardless of your gender, identity, race, or spiritual path, you are divine. Even if you are part of an organized religion or spiritual group, you still have the right to choose what is right for you. Check with your inner compass whether you are aligned to love. Sovereignty is taking responsibility for your actions in life as you are the one who has the power. So they're showing me that writing these words of tr of truth of love and compassion of it's going to be such a treasure and they're showing me for all humankind for all of us globally pisces Yeah, the ten of ten of water in reverse. So even <laughs> so even this card, look, hand, hand is up. Right? And even in reverse, this hand is up. So they're showing me that once you start, okay, stand in your sovereignty, 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 and release, and release that desire to control of what you're allowing everyone to see of you, is when. When you do that, when you release that, look at all this fire. What's holding you back? This is the Five of Earth, Five of Pentacles, and it came in, re in reverse. Struggle. There will be no more struggle. So what's interesting again, yeah, okay, so here he's holding out a hand, right, he's holding out a hand, ace of diamonds, ace of spades, jack of spades, so when I look at this card, I see You giving your gift. So you're in, re it's coming in reverse. It's showing me that the world and you are lost in the shadow back there. Wait, because we're waiting. We're waiting for you to give us your, your gift, your treasure, your insight in words. It's 
funny is this it's so interesting so this is the eight of earth and again now two hands So I'm showing your angels, your, uh, they're, they're saying like what, okay, you know, they just said to me, the pen is mightier than the sword, right? The pen has the power to hurt. Right? And all too often, that's the world we're in right now, right? So much hurt. We need your pen for healing. We need your words for healing. Your pen will become the sword for healing. <laughs> Here you are, standing in your power with your sword of truth, your words of healing. <laughs> okay. All right. So amazing. I love when the card when these cards do that. So the pen is mightier than the sword. Here you are standing in your sovereignty power. These goddesses are all standing in their power. And this is you. With your words. Your insight. Look at how we are without your words. The one of earth is the ace of pentacles. But it came out in reverse. all of these see all I keep showing they're showing me so this card green is the is the color of healing in the heart chakra and this like when I look at this I see this powerful being speaking light light is light language is coming out from from it so in reverse you, the world hasn't started healing fully because they didn't they need your words change movement I just see joy like this color to me is sunshine brightness joy There's butterflies third eyes open it's even a cat 
Oh, maybe the cat means something to you, Pisces. Sorry, it doesn't want to focus. There we go. And we have the 11 of fire. Which is the page of wands, which speaks of um, creativity. And I look when I look at that, I feel like you, you're totally gonna be. This is all spiritually guided. You're going to be so awakened. Pisces, okay. Uh, they keep, you know, they keep putting me in, in little slots, I feel, with you. But so the overall message I'm getting from this is you, you, universe is constantly reaching their hands out to you in support. And you are totally going to be supported and and lifted. And there's, they want you to reach for the stars with your words for healing. And it's going to be such a treasure for all of us. Such a heal, like healing treasure. So much healing. Even here, this, this, the way the world is shown here in this gray, and but look how lit up and illuminated. It's, they look the same, right? Your words will heal because you'll illuminate them, us, with spiritual. Like your words will help. Like we're supposed to. We're all ascending. We're supposed to wake up. And source spirit showing me that you have the words, the truth, the songs that will help others awaken. Help those who are are awake but still need healing. Your words will heal them. However, I'm also seeing that your words will awaken those who are not awake yet. They're not awake. Your words will help awaken them. Connect them with source. Connect them with spirit. I don't know what the spiritual meaning of starfish is. I'll look that up and I'll put it in the description. They're saying, no, Judy, you don't have to. Judith, she's a star. She's going to be a star. All right, Pisces. I say she. I, I don't know why this. It's not male or female. It's masculine, feminine. So I feel like you need to tap into your feminine energy, which is your creative energies. Right? That's. So when I say she, it's your creative energies to write these words. But I keep hearing songs. They're going to be songs. <laughs> There's going to be a new serious station where it's going to be all spiritual music to help people wake up. And that's what you're going to do, Pisces. So, Pisces, I hope this resonated with you. Um... Please click the like, subscribe, and bell notification. And again, I truly appreciate you being here. I'm truly grateful for all the support I've been getting for my new channel. And I will have information about the decks I used in the description below. 
I still put what starfish is because some someone out there wants to know so I'll put that in there as well and um, if this didn't resonate with you please check your other signs like I, I mentioned usually Chiron sign is the one that that resonates most with people but again this is a timeless general reading so with that being said uh, I just want to I, the energy is so good here. Like I feel the creative juices are flowing. I, I, they're, they're putting me there with these words of compassion and insight and sovereignty. Like all the words of the cards are what are going to be reflective in your, in your words, your songs. I'm looking forward to hearing about it one day. So please comment in, in the, the box below if, when, if and when you get there. I don't want to say if. When you get there. Because we need you. You are a treasure to heal this earth. To heal us. Help us. So we, it's not if. It's when. Sooner rather than later. Just saying. But again, I truly appreciate you being here. Thank you, Pisces. Love and light.